Okay, so now we're on part six of this. Uh, if you're watching this video for the first time, then you should rewind or check out my other videos because there's a part one somewhere in there. We are now on part six. I have no idea how long this will take. This is usually how it is with design, is that you don't say, oh, he did it in two hours, so I'm going to do it in two hours. The idea is that you just do it and you spend as much time, you invest as much time as is necessary to do the job right. So we had a whole pile of tr problem solving and whatnot and just basically had to get everything ready up to this point. Um, in between in the break, I was fixing up some bits of the hair and whatnot, but I think I'm finally satisfied with the hair. The idea is that you're never really satisfied with something you just keep working at something until you don't know what to do with it. So anyway, the very, at the very back is the back hair. At the very front is the front hair. We've got the figure here. There's the underface and face layer, undergarments layer. And now I'm on the overgar overgarments layer, which is just behind the uh, hair layer. So I'm going to lock the transparencies of all those other things so I don't accidentally screw them up. And I'll, uh, there. Okay, so that prevents me from painting on the wrong layer. So, yeah, okay, so now they're all locked and protected. And let's work on the overgarments layer. So, I still have some colors I haven't used yet, like this red. This red and this white I have not touched. And so, you know, I could, um, you know, I'm going to now add some additional stuff to this. So, you know, I'm going to, so I want, I can put another, you know, I can put clothing, which, like another layer of clothing, which covers up this. You know, I can, um, I haven't decided yet, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to take that overgarments layer, I'm going to stick it in the very back, and maybe something will come to me, right? So sometimes the overgarments layer is not something you add in the front, sometimes it's something you add in the back, and, you know, you can, you know, it can be something like a cape, it can be, um, if I put it over top, you know, it can be, like a scarf or a collar. You can have a top hat. Oops, except it's not on top of the front layer. All right, you can have top hats. Um, that's what the overgarments layer is for. It's, it's for anything additional. It's one extra layer. And I think in this case, I have an idea now from farting around. All right, so I can do this now. So the idea is that the overgarments layer, um, it works in unison with the other clothing layers. And you just have to find a way to um, accentuate what's already there. You know, it can be an overskirt. In this case, that's what I'm adding, is I'm adding an overskirt. And maybe I will make it asymmetrical. I'm not sure. Let's see. Or maybe I'll just... I don't want to cover all that up, and so I will keep it, you know, so it just only covers that much up. But the reason why I can make such elaborate clothing designs is because I work in layers. If you don't work in layers, then, you know, it's like I have very simple layers, right? But I start out with big, simple shapes, but then I break up those big, simple shapes with, you know, complex stuff. I don't try to draw things at a complex level right away. It just, it doesn't work out. 
So now I'm just thinking, you know, ways in which I can accentuate this form. And maybe what I'll do is, since I have that overgarments layer, I'm going to create um, back over garment. And I'll put that just behind, just in front of the back hair layer. And so that allows me to, you know, I can take that same color and you know, I can add like a ribbon, a big girly ribbon there. And that's what I'll use that white for. You know, the white I'll use as my accent color. And I'll just put this big kind of girly ribbon. And then, you know, I can have long kind of tails on it, right? Or you can give her coattails or, you know, whatever you please. But, you know, you can get very elaborate with the clothing. And it's, um, you know, it's very striking. The designs are always going to be very striking. So it's a formula. Yes, it's a formula, but it makes for very striking clothing and attracts people's attention. And, you know, if you're into fashion design and you and whatnot, you know, you're, if you like cosplay, I'm not really that crazy about it when people actually, when people actually dress up. But I do enjoy, you know, making costumes, like costume design like this. This is this is fun stuff. Because the thing is that there are some things that just don't work out very well when you make it real life. You know, this is all fantasy stuff, let's be honest here. And if you were to actually try and make this clothing work in real life, it would probably not work. Please do not send me links with you taking pictures of yourself in these clothing. Okay, just just don't. <laughs> just don't. Just don't. I know you're thinking about it. Just don't, okay? Just don't. Stop it. Okay. So I'm satisfied with that. I'll go back to that overgarments layer and let's remedy this this shape, these shapes here. I'm trying to make it symmetrical again. And I'm just thinking about, you know, where I should cut the skirt. So it's an open skirt is what it is. But at the same time, it's like, it's a skirt on top of a skirt. You know, it seems like kind of a, like an exhibit thing to do, you know. Yo, dog, I heard you like skirts, but so I put a skirt in your skirt so you can, I don't know, skirt while you skirt. Fucking, <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay. And now I'm, I'm trying to show how, um, there's an insertion point, right? There's an insertion for where the fabric inserts, you know, where the undergarment inserts into the overgarment. So I am just dealing with that now. I think what I'll do is I'll do a repetitive, um, whoops. Yeah, I'll do a re like just a one zigzag like that. This one as well, I'm going to just cut that like so, do a single zigzag like that. And if that is too simple for you, then you can cut in with one like that. But that might, you know, that might work against you. But yeah, these zigzags, like these are, you know, another kind of design element that you see that is consistent with everything else. So consistency brings unity in a drawing, it brings unity in a design, and it, you know, it is a way of adding variety that doesn't clash. I like, you know, I kind of like how it's simple, you know, it's one simple thing like that. I don't want to, you know, break up everything that I add. 
sometimes, you know, that lends to the simplicity of it. So I know how they're always saying, you know, keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. But, you know, you can never really tell when, you know, there's, it's not so easy to just make everything simple. I like complexity. You keep the big shapes simple, but cut up the simple shapes to add complexity and use patterns when you cut up those shapes. Keep your structure simple, add complexity with patterns. Okay, uh, let's go back to those back overgarments. I'm gonna just throw in one more layer behind the back overgarments. So this is, I don't know, I'm, I know what I do. I'll call this one back overgarments. The ribbon I will treat as back accessories or back accessories. Ha <laughs> ha, I can portmanteau. All right, so. Ah, now this color here, right? It's like if I decide to throw something in that back accessories or the back overgarments color, then I will have to use one of these other colors to do it. So maybe not that one. I'm I'm afraid to add what yet yeah, another color in there. Like I don't want to use the pink because I've all because the pink is my noisiest color and I've already put it up there. If I start throwing it down there, it doesn't work out. So um, maybe what I'll do is I'll just take this one color and I'll dim it down a bit, you know, and throw that in there. Yeah, you see that works. So it looks like a shadow color, you know, and that's that's fine. Or you know what? Maybe I will leave it open. I'll leave it open, and when I draw, you know, if I'm not going to draw the back, but if you draw the back, then maybe you know, the back is open as well, you know, so we can infer that it is open. there okay so yeah it's split we are implying that there is a split in the clothing now I will lock the transparencies and I can choose to go in and use um, I don't know what I'll use white maybe this black color again you know I can choose to outline it like that or maybe what I'll do is um you know, I can just do a simple cut like this. But yeah, you know, it's like, it's really up to you. If you do this as a border, then you'll get more of a layered effect. All right, so this is kind of cool in that it gives a layered effect. But then again, you know, it adds complexity to an area. And I'm thinking to myself that I want these areas down at the, near the bottom, I, I want the density of complexity, the density of detail to be less near the bottom, greater near the top. So I want increasing complexity as we look upwards. And that will give us, you know, that brings our attention to where we want to, you know, look at her. So if you want to focus de detail around an area, then you fringe it with complexity. Um, and then I think I'll probably have one more stage where I go into these uh, undergarments and I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, a little bit more, I don't know, flare on those. So I'm going to begin on this. Let's see. Let's go back to those undergarments layers. I'm going to call it undergarment, uh, undergarment uh, ripple, either ripple or whatever. So yeah, having, you know, spend a little time naming your layers because it's a whole lot easier to read than layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, layer five. Okay, so I'm on this undergarment ripple layer and now I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna add the wrinkles. I look for all the convex shapes and I add ripples like that. I can kind of tell where to add them. Anyway, we're out of time. Yet again, I'm going to continue this next part on the next video. Thanks for watching.